when you just want to look out your window here in Northern Ontario, Canada, but all you see is a great big snowbank. Enough already. Crazy. <laughs> So as many of you know, um, we've had nothing but snow. It's getting really, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. Um, we're gonna go out to the lettuce house and answer a few questions on the plumbing and um, just the water hoses and stuff like that for um, the hydroponic system. Um, and I'll give you a quick peek of our beautiful outdoors here. We are now in the lettuce house. Um, it's harvest day for the farmer's market tomorrow. We have a couple of uh, questions for people. So, Wayne, do you want to answer these? Okay. Okay, uh, so. Hello, everybody. First of all, sorry about the uh, noise, but the furnaces are running. Um, <laughs> so the first question was from Mateo. I hope I'm saying that right. He would like to know how the plumbing part of the system really works. Um, how are the two sides of the greenhouse connected? So this side to this side into the tank and uh, How does it circulate from this side back into the tank? Well, we'll start right at the pump. Okay, so I've got a one horse swimming pool pump in-ground swimming pool pump hooked up In this greenhouse we, we need about 90 liters of water or 90 gallons of water a minute each trough needs about a liter or a quart, depending on where you're coming from, of water, running all the time. So what we've got is a one horse here, it puts out, I think just over 90 gallons a minute. We've got a two inch suction, two inch main line. So you can see it sucking it up and coming through the pump. It runs all the way down on this side of the greenhouse. And on the other side, we've just come down here pushing the water underneath our walkway. So it goes down. Just underneath the walkway and then it comes back up again. And then it continues yeah. down and, to this side. And then we're doing the same same way for the circulation end of it. Recircular. Where it goes underneath oh. again. This is the drain and shinned. And this will go underneath the ground and right back into the tank again. Yeah. So it just keeps continuously circulating. And you can see what we've done here. This pump puts on enough volume and pressure. We've added this blowout line, so we're always pumping it back into the tank to hopefully add enough oxygen to the air to help with the root system. To the water. So, yeah. Not so, to the air. That air, oxygen to the water, yeah. And it's pumping it in and, and uh, just keeping everything moving. So basically it's pretty a simple setup. Every 10 feet we have it valved off. So we can play with the with the water, and we've done that every ten feet all the way down. So different banks all the way down. Yeah, every ten feet. Okay. Now the next question was from uh, Artisan Bard. Uh, what do we use to attach the tiny tube that goes into the trough to connect to the main three-quarter inch PVC water line? So I think this is what you're talking about here. The grommets. Oh, These are grommets. Here, let me back up. You can pick these up several places, uh, Granger's in the U.S. or American Hydroponics. A lot of the uh, cannabis shops will have them or the irrigation shops. Pretty simple setup. You drill a hole 7 sixteenths and you pop it in here. You can see the, right here, I won't pull this one right out, just, but it's just a 7 sixteenths hole and you pop it in and these are tapered. So that uh, the nice fit, tight fit. I've never had to change any of these yet. Are they Almost called anything? Those just a grommet. Just a grommet. Rubber grommet. Rubber grommet. Okay. And I've never had to change any of these in five years. And then that's just called yeah, spaghetti then, hose. Yeah, there's a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch ID outside diameter. You can see how fit snug that is. Now I've had to change these. The sun gets to these after a while, and start cracking. So every couple of years you are having to change that. But they're another tight fit. Again, we've never had any issues with these. We have these figured out pretty good. So 
I hope that helps. Yeah, I'm sure it will. So it's just a very quick video. And uh, like we said, I'm just going to turn you around. If there, if you have any other questions, um, I posted on a, just a public post this morning. If you have any other questions just or any other ideas for videos, let us know because we're having a hard time at this time of the year. There's not a whole lot to show. But we have some really exciting news coming out. So near the end of next week, we will um, be making that public to our YouTube viewers. So yep, pretty exciting. Well, we'll do a, a video on yeah. Monday, right? About the yeah. finish of our lighting LED test. That's right. Our um, LED lighting expertise guys are coming on Monday. So we're going to do a, a weigh-in. Weigh and um, we'll have... So if you want to send us or comment any questions about the LED lights before Monday, we'll answer. We'll have... Um, Dave or Rune answer those uh, on Monday when they're here. But, oh, Wayne wants to show you something. These are the ones he said we're going to... the pet, weigh these five trays. We've had these under under lights for about 30 days. Now, it'll be 35 days on Monday, and uh, we're going to harvest them and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, this stuff looks phenomenal. Like, even since we were here, what, last week? Yeah. Like, that has grown Well, they really get a gross turn the last week of their, you know, their life, that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. So. That's, you, you really notice a change every week. Perfect. All right. That's it for all. That's it for now, folks. Go play in the snow. Go play in the snow. Have a good weekend. Bye.